since I have an automatic, uh, I have to remove the transaxle cooling lines from the bottom. There's two. Um, try to get you some. Ah, see the bottom of the radiator it goes down white. There's that lip, and then see the nut. The hose is attached to that with a little bitty hose clamp. And the way they've done it, it's facing downward. The hose clamp. This one over here too. Where is it? There it is. See? They put the hose clamp facing down so you can't even reach it. You know, I gotta get a little wrench in there. Otherwise I just put a flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna take those two off and then uh and then what else do I have? Looks like I got maybe some air conditioning lines. Oh, okay, they're just... Shit, I don't know. Is that mounted to this? Hell yeah. Mm. So I mean, there may be some depressurizing of the system. I'm going to have to look and see uh, how that does. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to get those little hose clamps off. That's stupid installing them upside down. Oh, the book said when you change the transaxle... Uh, when you take them off of the radiator, you're going to have to get new ones because they become damaged and stuff. Um, the insides is what they say when you take them off. So it must have a like a, a rib system. You slide it on probably so it doesn't come off. And when you do take it off, you're going to mess it up and then it'll leak next time. So that makes sense now that I think about it. But I don't like the fact that they put the stupid hose clamps on upside down. That's just dumb. But. When they build it in the factory, they don't think about fixing it. You know, if you don't, if you don't have a plan to fix this thing, you shouldn't be designing it. You know, it's like I said, if you've never been in the army, you shouldn't been lead the army. You know, commander in chief shouldn't be there if he's never been in the military. And if you've never worked on a car, don't freaking design them because <laughs> you give the rest of us nightmares. Okay, we got lucky. These books. The Chilton's Manual, it does not have everything, but it has a lot. Uh, and if you're looking in the books, you're probably not going to get into too deep, or but at least it gives you a good start. Anyway, I thought those air, line, air conditioning lines coming in went to the right air. There's a, uh, what they call this? I want to tell you the right thing. Uh, the condenser bracket. Condenser back right here 10 millimeter again. So everything we're doing so far at the beginning is 10 millimeters Okay, that comes out He said lean it to the side Lean it to the side. How do you lean it to this one? Remove the air conditioning condenser mounting screws. Okay. And lean the condenser forward, making room for the radio. Ah, there's one over here, too. Okay. Got another one over there. Same thing. Sometimes we got to learn together. All right. I will make a bag for those because I doubt that the new radiator has that. So we'll lean it forward, making room for the radiator. I'm going to call this forward. And we got to pull this unit out as one. Hmm. Let me see what I got here. right there huh 
I'll figure it out and then I'll show you what I had to do. Okay. The book tells you take the brackets off top side, left and right. They're similar. It don't say shit about on the bottom. When you come up under the bumper, you can tell there's another bolt here and another bolt here on the bottom. So that's why I couldn't pull it out and I wasn't trying to force it. Uh, I had to show you what I did here. So I'm going to remove those bolts. 10 millimeter again. So we're not we're not doing too many tool changes here. Here. This was up under here. I, I didn't understand what it meant by lean forward, but you just got to pry it up a little bit and it pops forward. But I'm going to put them back in right now so that I don't have no tension on those bolts underneath. I'm going to remove them and then I'll show you when I pull the radiator out. All right, that's hood of the car down here at the bumper. I'm going to show you. Right there. This bolt. Right there, that's for the uh, air conditioner condenser mounting bracket. There's a second one right here. Just on the bottom of the radiator here, okay? And uh, once I take that one off, and that one off, the radiator will slip right out. It'd be nice if they told you that in the book. Alright, got the bottom bolts off the air conditioning condenser bracket boom pops forward see how easy is that when you know what to do lift this this one out of the way there we go one unit $105 for that. This part right here. $105 in Tennessee. That's how much that is. Yeah, that's $105. Alright. Then we'll hit the next thing.